Ready? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. We're outside today because the weather is beautiful. Yes. And we have a noisy dog who wants to say hello. Hi, say hello, Russell. Hi, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Go chase someone. So today we went to Ancaster Canadian Reformed yeah. Christian Church. I don't know if Christian was in there. Uh, yeah, Canadian yeah, Reformed, it was. was it? Yeah. Christian Church. Okay. Big title. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Russell. So I did look on the website before we went to this church and um, looked at a bit of the history and stuff. So I did think it was going to be a bit of a formal church, and it was. So uh, let's talk right from the beginning, our impression when we drove into the parking lot. Yes, yeah, so when we drove into the parking lot, I was worried because I had a top on that shows my shoulders. And I immediately pulled those shoulders up because I realized everybody was dressed in suits and dresses. And I was worried that we were underdressed because I just had tights on in my, in my shirt. And, um, but we decided to just go with it. But everyone, it seemed, was very dressed up for this church service. Yeah, so it was kind of formal. They all, all the women do their hair and yep. everyone looked really pretty. Like, yeah. Gosh, everybody could have been models there. Everybody looked so good, right? Yeah. So um, it was nice. There was a lot of um, young families, which we like that mix. It does give a nice vibe to it. Not very many older people. Um, Okay, so um, we talked about what it looked like uh, as we drove in. When we got into the church, uh, my, what I noticed right away was all the p families, all the young people, um, very few older people, um, and it was every single pew was filled and everybody was dressed so beautifully. It looked like a room full of models. It was just such... <laughs> A beautiful looking congregation it was <laughs> Susan made the comment boy if you're single you could come to this church and meet someone because I'll tell you the, the boys look good <laughs> the boys looked good the boys look good yes uh, and uh, the families it was interesting the parents would sit in the middle and kids on either side of them a lot of families had like four that. children yeah um, a lot of kids. And the kids were well behaved. They sat through the whole service and very, very well behaved. Yep, there was no kid talk or anything. The kids really just sat there and, and listened to everything that we did. Mm. And when we walked in, um, someone was playing an organ. And I have not heard that in a church in a long time. And that's all they used. That's the only music they had was, was the organ. Yeah. And there wasn't a, any kind of music leader or anything. No, and there was no mm -hmm. choir. But I actually took a video of what the congregation sounded like. And maybe we can add that to this. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounded phenomenal. I was blown away by how the congregation sang for every single song. It just sounded beautiful. So what I noticed was um, the music is different at every church we go to, and I do like praise and worship type music, the kind of music that makes you raise your hand. Their music, um, their hymnal was maybe a third was all Psalms, so right from the Bible, and it's I think it's the verses right from the Bible, it's just made to a tune, but the tune is very much the same in every song. Mm -hmm. And then the other third of the hymnal was hymns, but their hymns also were sounded a lot like the Psalms, like very standard. Yes. You know, not a lot of um, emotion. And then the back of the hymnal was all prayers and forms. So it was a very uh, formal yeah. hymnal. Yeah. It and they didn't me, use it, any screens or anything. No, no screens. You had to use books. It brought me back to when I was a kid, when you dressed up for church, you used the books. Uh, long service um, it was an hour and a half and mm -hmm. you know a lot of scriptures a lot of reading from the Bible right so I wrote down what he talked about today it was Luke 16 9 to 31 uh, the parable of the dishonest manager the law and the kingdom of God divorce and remarriage and the rich man and Lazarus he talked a lot about the rich man and Lazarus about um, yeah that was the main focus about the suffering and the poor uh, 
just waiting on the Lord and how we're supposed to treat poor people or, or su people who are suffering. And um, yeah, I just thought that, that was, it was good. It was a good uh, mm -hmm. message, yeah. And then near the end, the gentleman that was sitting beside Susan wanted to introduce us to a, an elder of the church. I was ready to just scoot out, but Susan is much he, nicer well, than Well, he was sitting beside me and he said it twice. Don't leave quickly. Let me introduce you to someone. So I couldn't just leave. That would have been rude. So I would have still left. She wanted to leave and I'm like, I'm not leaving. I'm yeah. going to wait and say hello. I didn't want to talk to an elder. And it was fine. But um, it was fine. It was short. He was, he was a very sweet man. Just yeah. kind of feeling things out. I felt like saying, well, I'm an adulteress, so I can't stay here. <laughs> and the reason I say that is the whole sermon was, if you've been divorced, you're an adulteress. So I've been divorced, so I guess I'm an adulteress at that church. Um, well, me too. Yeah. But uh, anyways, um, yeah. So anyways, yeah, the, it was fine. He said hi to us for a few minutes and asked us if we were visiting family, because I guess the only way people visit that church is if they're visiting yeah. family. And we're yeah. like, no. He goes, did you come with anyone? Nope, just came with each other. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, I think they were surprised. Yes, they were. <laughs> and and the fact that the minister was not there and there ha they have student ministers right now, uh, he made sure to let us know that, but it was also in the program. So, But yeah. it was a great experience. I'm glad we went. It was a 930 service, which I seem to like for some reason. Um, well, we're morning people. We are morning people. So... Yeah. So I just like different experiences. I don't want to keep going to the same ones um, right away. I want to try different ones. We're even talking, you know, Catholic, Ukrainian. We want to try them all. So yep. if you have any suggestions, please send them our way because we were a little lost today and just kind of went with what was close to my house. Yeah, we picked something close by. Yeah. So that's fine. It's not one we had been to. So yeah. Yeah. So anyway, until next weekend, have a good one. Bye. Bye.